Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 online game. Today we have the Patriots and the Packers. I got Aaron Rodgers and the Pack here at Lambo. So we're going to try to get things going and Raji right away starting the game with a sack. That's the way I like it. And then the next play, Casey Hayward coming up with the pick. And I got him perfectly there. He ran the same play the first play of the game, so I expected it. I was like, alright, I'm prepared for this. So I tried to take off a Rodgers. Almost a touchdown there, but um, number 75, I think that's Wolfork almost got me. Well, kind of got me at the end then second down we actually don't get the first down so third down i think i ran hard up here and i just ran the ball so i was like um anyways you could give me one yard right and here i got all the time in the world to try to do something do something but i can't do anything then i reroute cobb and we get i think like one yard out of all of that mess second down i try to run the ball but we don't get anything and now third down we don't want to let him get that goal line stance so we roll out the pocket with aaron Rodgers, and there's nothing but freedom on that right side. The grass is greener on the right side, apparently. And we get a touchdown there. And Rodgers does his championship belting. He doesn't exactly land ball leap. So, you know, in the end, we start off the game good. We get the pick. We get the touchdown. And now we're looking to keep the momentum going. Meanwhile, he's trying to play, play it smart here. He's dumping it down to Gronkowski. Though it is third down and four. And he throws another pick. This time to Banjo. And Banjo got to outrun the lineman. And Banjo's in for the touchdown. And we're up 14 nothing, just like that, and this game is looking like blowout city right now, and this dude doesn't get anything going on this drive, you might as well consider this game over, and Banjo almost had another one there, unfortunately Banjo couldn't even make the tackle, but like Banjo was on it, and you see, I was talking about pass leads in another video, and this is what I'm talking about, dude, this dude would be, this dude, he was throwing up streaks a lot in this game, and he would just pass lead the hell out of them, so as you can see, I can't get him, and for some reason, neither can Sam Shields, and Dobson gets a touchdown, I, I don't know why, it's one thing I've noticed when I'm playing this game a lot, is that cornerbacks will go for some really unnecessary risk when it comes to swatting the ball, they'll go for swats that you just don't go for, because if you miss it, the guy is gone behind you getting a touchdown, and it's kind of frustrating when they miss it. I've seen them miss it a few times. And next one, you know, like a 15-yard gain is a 50-yard gain, you know. So, you know, hopefully that gets fixed somehow. I don't even know, man. <laughs> I just, I'm sick of it. I see Aaron Rodgers taking off out the pocket. Hitting the... All right, I need to chill with Rodgers. Someone needs to teach this man how to slide down. Rodgers has a history of concussions and all that stuff. For real, for real. And here, probably a B open, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like risking it. So I just chilled out and I threw it away. Look to play another down. Come back to the run game with Eddie Lacy. And look at Lacy cooking downfield, jumping over someone there. And Eddie Lacy moving the ball into the red zone. Next play, Starks comes in to spell Lacy for a few plays. Doesn't get much there, but second down eight, Lacy is back on the pitch, hitting that Eddie Lacy spin move there. You know, Lacey's he's got a good spin move rating that brings up third down and four and Jordy Nelson on the spot route gets us the big first down and then we come back with the pitch to the other side to Lacey and Lacey dodging I believe Revis there and getting the touchdown so offense is still looking good defense you know so good it's just that he got that um the few streaks before and one of those streaks ended up being a bigger play than it should have so I'm not too worried about the defense right now but um eventually he started calling you know smarter plays than what he was calling earlier in the game earlier he wasn't really doing anything right then he changed it up I mean the streaks were definitely going his way and my guys definitely were not capitalizing on opportunities because that was a few chances of getting picks as their um, third down he probably should have gotten that until fourth down comes up here we go and he gets the first down unfortunately I mean, he's just coming out in some, like, four verts, receiver shakes in the middle, but we just can't stop it. You see Sam Shields once again missing, and then that dude breaks a tackle, and Dobson's in again for a touchdown. And it's frustrating, because all he's doing is running verticals, and I can't really stop it. I mean, it's still the early release, so my defense is still shaky. I mean, even though I run the same play, it's still shaky. I'm still learning the concepts of the game and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's f whenever you're giving up four verts in any Madden, you got to be ashamed of yourself, basically. That's the way I feel here. Looking for um, Taylor here, trying to get the first down, but Taylor does not move the chains, bringing up fourth and one. And I'm trying to pitch the ball here. I'm trying to pitch it, and Will Ford comes in unblocked. I don't know why my dude called a timeout, but that was definitely not the way I drew up that play. I didn't expect somebody to come through unblocked on a pitch play like that, so that was cool. That was really cool, not. And I, I definitely overthought the situation coming out on a pitch in fourth and one. Earlier, I just ran the ball in the middle in that third and one. I probably should have tried something like that again. And here, 
I don't know how this is a touchdown, but Gronk, you know, he suddenly stops his momentum and keeps both feet in bounds. All right. So with six seconds left, that try firing the ball downfield to Jordy Nelson. We get picked off. Not really a big deal since it's the end of the half and he's not in field goal range, so he's got one Halo Mary chance. But this game, all of a sudden, it's a 21-21 game as he chucks it up. Doesn't get anything. But yeah, we had the control. We had to control this game all around. All of a sudden, it's 21-21 because he's, you know, completing his streak routes. Thankfully, we do get the ball coming out of half, so we get to set the tone to start of the second half, so this drive is really important. By the way, um, so a few people asked me how to, oh man, really man? I was trying to slide down, I was spamming the X button, but Rodgers tried to um, do his inner Marshawn Lynch and like break tackles, and then he fumbled, so that was really frustrating. So instead of setting the tone, we don't, but yeah, some people are asking me, because my six hours finished on um, this trial. For EA Access. But I got another six hours. If you guys want to know how to do that, I'm going to leave a link in the annotation to um, the method I use is Quentin Dix drops the pick there. We really need that because now he's going to get the lead right here in fourth and three. He's going to play its mark, take his points. But if we would have had that pick, still a tie game. Instead, you know, we just can't capitalize, man. We got the first two picks in the beginning. We can't get anything since. And here we're going to the wheel route. But once again, we just I just can't complete those wheel routes. I still don't have that timing down. And here I tried throwing it to X, but Rodgers just a little bit off, bringing up a big third down and 10 in the game. And we hit the out route for the first down. And um, Boykin's there trying to get more than the first down. So we just chill out. Next play, call a little um, corner route here to the tight end. Corliss gets it. Of course, Jermichael Finley not on the Packers anymore. Corliss is. Is. And that dude is coming in flying. Collins bringing up second down and 18, throwing the wide receiver screen to Jordy, trying to get some yards. Jordy trying to hit the juke move there. We have most of the yards back from the sack. Now it's third down and 12. Definitely trying to convert this one here. And Rodgers throws a beautiful pass in there to Cobb. But fourth and two comes up. It wasn't the first down, but on fourth down, we go back to the spot route that we ran earlier and we get the first down. I didn't overthink the situation this time. I called the right play. And that was the wrong play. Double tap X to slide. All right. I need to do that. And now because I didn't do that, Matt Flynn's in the game instead of Aaron Rodgers. Now I got to pray to God that um Rodgers comes back. So while we got Matt Flynn in the game, let's try to throw a touchdown pass. We call some play action here. And this dude, Taylor, is wide open. And he's grabbing that touchdown and the lead. And Rodgers is coming back. But while Rodgers was gone, Matt Flynn did his thing. Now, obviously, him sending an all-out blitz helped. And that's the power of having a good run game. It helps the play action get that much open. So... You know, that's good for us. We're up four points. Eventually, we got to stop these streak routes, and that's exactly what we do. We got them that time. Beautiful beat there with Hayward. Just had to let them think it was open for just a second. Then it wasn't. And here we come out halfback passing, but unfortunately, we can't get anything going. Instead, we actually lose five yards. So, second down and 15. Oh, man. Either Aaron Rodgers threw a complete die, or I might have gotten away with one. I don't know. Say what you want to say. I thought like I got away with one, but you watched the replay. I don't know. It was just squeezed in so beautifully. And here, I mean, he's just coming out four verts. And I don't know. Quentin Dix always chooses the wrong guy to guard. So now he's leaving Gronkowski open when I got the other guy. And once again, he's just not guarding Gronkowski. And I almost got the pick there, but I didn't actually get a ball hog. I just got to stay in still animation. And now at the 19-yard line, just continuing to dot me up on streaks. So... Eventually, we're going to have to figure out how to stop that. But first, we have to make sure we protect this ball. We have to make sure we get some points on this drive. And he's actually going for two here, which he does get. reason why he goes for two is to make it a three-point game instead of a four-point game. So now it's only a field goal to tie the game. So oh, that works in his favor. Um, I got to do anything, though. Anything to keep the momentum away from him. And now this is a big third down to try to keep the momentum on our side. And we find Randall Cobb running a drag route down the middle. And Cobb gets the first down and then some. Next play, running some more optional Aaron Rodgers. I didn't have a, I didn't have a choice to get down or not. I just ran to a wall of people. Second down, 10 comes up. I'm looking, looking, and find two people wide open on the drag. I hit RB and Rodgers misfires. That's Aaron Rodgers we're talking about. I don't know the injury affected him or what. But it's third down. I got absolutely nothing open. The pressure coming. But this and Randall Cobb makes the cut. Just beautiful timing there. As soon as Cobb made the cut, I hit the X button. And Cobb got the first down with three minutes left. We're inching towards field goal range. But also that clock is dripping down. The clock is our friend right now. So we're going to call a... Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? My trial ended in the middle of the game. I take the L for this game technically because my trial ended. Like, come on, man. In the fourth quarter, when I'm up, the trial ends after I just got a good third down. Oh, man. Whatever, man. Hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time.